there. My name is uh, Anders and I come from Sweden here to Bike Shed Show 2019 to show my Honda CX500 shed build bike. Uh, the story behind this bike is I found it uh, through a friend of mine, had it in a, in a uh, old yeah, barn and it was in totally chaotic state. It, was, it was, uh, has been sitting there for I think it was 15 years. And uh, yeah, it was a rusty, beaten up old CX, but I think uh, I thought it should be, it could be something uh, nice for my daughter. So I bought it, took it home and uh, yeah, starting to tear it apart and from there, slowly, bit by bit, build it up with parts and things I made for myself. And I can take a, we can take a walk through the bike and start in the front. That's one of the first things, things I found was a, a four-lead shoe brake from, from, I think it's from a old Laverda or maybe a Motogussi, but uh, still it's a beautiful, beautiful drum brake. And then I know if I had this drum brake, I must have spoke wheels. So yeah, I laced it up with uh, 18 inch aluminum rims. And uh, the fork, the original, the standard fork is a 33 millimeters, very weak. So I get uh, a fork from a Kawasaki Z1000, I think it was, 80 or 81, an old Kawasaki, beefed up. And uh, put it on, made some modifications, shortened it 90 millimeters internally and externally to fit, to get the stance right. And uh, the headlight is an uh, yeah, old British style I bought from uh, eBay, but it, uh, I wanted a chrome one and made uh, carbon fiber, uh, uh, what do you call it, headlight brackets. And uh, as always, I want to use Moto Gadget parts. So this, uh, their uh, Chrono Classic is a piece of art, works like a charm. And it, it uh, looks old, uh, a bit old st school. And a little story about uh, the top triple tree. The standard one is uh, ugly piece with uh, key hold for um, uh, ignition keys and things like that. So I thought I take a lower triple tree from the same fork and modified it to get this clean look. So this uh, top triple tree is uh, originally a lower triple tree. And also uh, one big, big part of the bike was I have decided I must make a carbon fiber fuel tank because I make carbon fiber parts, but never have I made a fuel tank in carbon fiber. So I worked with a piece of styrofoam for months or weeks to try to shape it and made a mold of that. And uh, it, was, it was a lot of work, but still I must do it. I, it was uh, one thing I have to do. The engine is quite standard. It's it's uh, not so much move. I put it uh, totally apart and and uh, yeah, measured everything. Put new pieces in it, so it's uh, like new condition. Have a different uh, set of carbs for it, so it breathes a little bit better. And uh, the radiator is original, but shortened in top 15 millimeters, so it clears the fuel tank. And the, the, then we have the exhaust, also a little bit challenging. Also, they are homemade. Also, everything on the bike is homemade by me in my workshop. And the exhaust is, yeah, I have cal calculated it, so it's uh, the proper dimensions for this setup for the engine. And it's uh, coated with some ceramic coating. Smells like shit when you do it, but it's it's uh, then you don't have to paint it again. Then we have uh, next part I did on the bike is the subframe. As everybody knows, the Honda CX has one of the world's ugliest subframes on the bike. So that was one of the things I cutted, f yeah, almost immediately. And uh, I had to build a vending machine to make a new subframe because it's easier. To, to just to be able to do it. So I made a clean subframe to, yeah, to get some nice lines on the bike. And also a battery box, or electrical box under the seat. I made in carbon fiber as all the parts. And uh, there I have the Moto Gadget M units and all the other parts, try to tuck it away. And also we have this uh, nerve wrecking seat. Uh, I made it, uh, on my wife's sewing machine, this seat cover, and uh, let me say I'm, I'm, 
I'm not good at that, but uh, I, it worked after s uh, some curses and some uh, some uh, calm to calm down and everything. I got the seat belt. Maybe not professional look, but still, it's made by me. So that's that's the part of it. And also the seat base or the cowl, uh, as uh, in the, in the fuel tank, it's made in carbon fiber by me. And um, yeah, it was. The same as the fuel tank, some styrofoam shape it, made them plug and made them old. And the rear tail light, I didn't find any that looked good, so I bought some LED units and made a small, I don't know, the holder for it. So it's a special made piece for this bike, but I think it, it looks quite okay. And uh, the rear wheel. It's the last part, it's the standard Honda CX hub because of the shaft drive. So I had to make some, some um, adapter rings to fit uh, so I can get spokes on it. And it, yeah, it looks quite okay, it follows the lines of the bike. So I think that wraps it up. As I said, all parts made by me in my garage, so this is a proper shed build. Now it's time for the Queen to sing. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel from Bike Shed. Two videos each week and hope to see you here at Bike Shed Show. Maybe next year also. Thank you.